Hey guys, what's up? So today we're going to be making a, a cute triangle. And we're going to be finding the very middle, the very center of that triangle. But otherwise, that center point of the triangle is also called the centroid. Or also, it's known as the balance point. So let's get on with this, shall we? Point A, point B, and point C. There we go. Now, first of all, to find the centroid, we would have to find all three medians. Now, to find the medians, we must first find the midpoints of our lines that make up the triangle. So, let's go ahead and do that. For AB, it would be point D, BC, point E, and CA for that would be point F. Now that we found the midpoints, we would then create a line going from the well, first. The original way would be going from an angle, so let's say angle C, and going to the opposite midpoint. So for C, it would be D, and for B, it would be F, and for A, it would be E. But sometimes, but usually I do the midpoint to the opposite angle. Now, also, first thing, or second thing, I like, since we have the midpoints, and since we now have a line going through those midpoints, this would also mean that the two lines connecting connecting to D would be congruent. So A D and B D would be congruent since A B since D is the midpoint of A B. So let's mark those. There we go. Also, since we have all three medians, we can now find the point of, we can now find the centroid or the point of concurrency, the intersection of three lines, of the medians of the triangle, which would be right here. Since and now we have found our centroid or the exact center of the triangle we have made. Also, fun fact, the centroid cuts the median into, uh, into thirds, by thirds. So, like, to, from point D to point G, or from D to the midpoint, this is one-third of the entire line. And, like, from point E to the centroid, this would be one-third, and point F to the centroid, it would also be one-third of this entire line. So, yeah, that's about it. Hope this was helpful for you.